Um, I'm here today to show you what's in my pencil bag. Um, I've gotten a few request, requests for this and for what's in my purse. Um, so I'm going to do what's in my pencil bag right now and there will be another video um, for what's in my purse. Um, some of you has, have asked um, what's some of the music that sometimes I play in the background. Um, this is What You Know by Two Door Cinema Club. Um, so let's get started. For a pencil case, um, I use this. It's like a little zippered bag. Um, I got it a few years ago, and it's I just used it this whole time, and it's just really helpful. Oh, and in case you guys are wondering, this is not a tattoo, just pen writing. So no worries. <laughs> But yeah, I just use this. Um, then what I actually put in this pencil bag, um, or in a pencil box, um, which right now I'm actually changed to a pencil box. I changed to this one. Um, what I actually put in it is this like sharpener. Um, I usually try to find the best sharpeners I can, so it's just really easy to sharpen. I don't have to go to electric sharpeners all the time. Um, I usually have like an eraser, like this one, which I constantly use right now. Um, next, I have like um, these. Um, these are like little stickers for um, noble paper so like that little hole punch in noble paper you put it around that so it doesn't rip um, then I have these I usually put these on notes or index cards so um, like it's like color coded so like green like vocab orange is notes um, pink is homework and um, yellow is things that are going to be on a test or a quiz so I know what to study from. So I use I also use those. Um I usually have like a flash drive because in technology class a lot of times we have to take um projects that we're doing in class home to finish. So I have this. It's a little turtle flash drive. Um as you can see it's just like that. I got this at um at Staples, and it was pretty cheap, and they had a lot of different options. There was like turtles and bears and pandas, penguins, fish like Nemo, um, which is a clownfish, and just all kinds of different shapes and animals. Then, um, if I don't have that big eraser, I have like a smaller case like this. I like these erasers. Um, I don't know if you can read it, probably not, but it says BIC. Um, can you probably see it a little bit right now? Um, it says BIC, and these are just erasers, and this can easily slide off. It's just like to hold on to, so when you're erasing, um, well, if, you, if it's like in your pencil bag and it's dirty and you try to hold it, um, sometimes like your fingers like turn black from like the dirty part, so it's just to hold on to so you can just easily erase. So I have these. Um, then I also have, I sometimes also have like this like mini stapler that matches my pencil sharpener. Um, I usually have some tape, and if I don't, I just ask some teacher, but sometimes it's helpful to have some of your own. Um, sometimes um, for handouts, I use a hole puncher, and my, um, my three hole puncher that was like half ruler, half hole puncher that you can clip into your binder, it kind of broke. So I used a single hole puncher that I got from Staples a few years ago. It was about, um, about $7 and I've had it for about 5 years now and it still hasn't broken. It's really easy to use and yeah. Um, then I just have like the basics like pencils. I usually like to have 3 pencils, um, 3 to 5 pencils in my bag and three pens, one black, one blue, and one red. Um, 
so pencils, pens. Um, I have a. I usually have a sharpie. Um, I would most likely recommend a black sharpie. Um, then I have highlighters. I am absolutely obsessed with highlighters and neon colors, so I use these. Um, they're Bic Brightliner. Um, they're really good um, highlighters, and they have like fun tips, so it's really easy to use. And if you're looking for them, they usually come in packs of five with blue, pink, orange, green, and yellow. And you can really tell them apart because it's like a solid color right here. And the tip and the hook, it's like a clear, darker color. Um, besides that, I also have a calculator. Um, because sometimes in like, I'm in algebra right now, so sometimes in algebra they don't have calculators, so it's good to have your own. Um, I prefer, I would highly recommend these. As you can see, I got it from Staples. Um, and I would also recommend the on and off buttons. And, um, all of these extra keys. Unless you're in, like, a younger class, which is, like, three and below, then you just usually need, I recommend the on and off and just the digits. I don't think you're going to need percentages, dividing, times, maybe plus and minus and equals, but I don't think you're going to need any of these. Or, and then this one folds up, so it doesn't damage, um the keys and doesn't damage the little screens. So that's what I use. Um then like if I don't have it in my pencil box, I usually have it like um in my bag or something, but I always have um colored pencils, crayons or markers. Most likely colored pencils almost never markers. Um because they were just really easy to use and they are really thin and can fit too much anyway. Um, I also have like the post-it tabs as I've shown you, show you before. Um, these little like tabs or stickies, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they just are easy to label like homework, label all your different um, subjects and different things you have like homework, notes, vocab, all that. So I can choose both of these for that. Um, then I also have like sticky notes. Um, I, I usually like light colors like this like yellow, it's a little bit dirty but like a yellow or um, or like a bright pink or orange. I don't usually get like the dark blues. If anything, it's like a neon blue. From the dark blues, you can't really write in pencil because it's hard to see. And sometimes if I'm a little bored in class, I just do this. So yeah. Um, I got this a few years ago. It's like a special pack. Um, it's like an office package of pen and pencil. Um, I usually use this for, like, essays or things like that, more important things, um, to make it look neat and more official. So, yeah. So, I would recommend getting one of these. If you don't, it's okay, but have, like, that one special pencil and one special pen that match. Um, so that, you, like, you don't use them for anything, you don't give them away, you don't, like, let anyone borrow them, you just use them for special things like essays or just notes to teachers or anything like that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. And besides that, sometimes I like to have a ruler. Um, this is a Hello Kitty ruler. But if it's not in my pencil bag, because they don't usually fit in pencil box, as you can see, they're pretty big. Um, so... I just have them separately, but like always have one because when I'm taking notes, I like to just keep it organized. Um, as you can see, I just like to um, 
have everything lined up and perfectly straight just so it's easy to read and um, pretty simple. As you can see, I always color code everything just so I know um, what is what and it's really easy and simple to read. So that's all I have in my pencil box. Um, I'm going to make a what's in my purse video and if you want I can make a what's in my backpack too. So um, hope this helps you guys. Bye! <laughs>